Welcome and greetings from Synthon Electronics. Okay, so in this session, what we'll do is we'll uh, see how to do different operations on a matrix. Okay, so in previous session, we have done uh, ones of a matrix, zeros of a matrix, and I have created unit matrices. Okay, we have tried how to access individual elements of a matrix, how to add a matrix, or how to subtract a matrix. Okay, but in now our inner case, what we'll do is we'll see different operations that can be carried out in a matrix. Okay. So operations like matrix additions, uh, matrix subtractions, or even matrix multiplications, etc. Okay, even transpose of a matrix, all those things we'll cover it in this matrix. Okay, so first initial I'll create a matrix. So, so A is equal to square bracket open 1, 2, 3, semicolon 4, 5, 6. Okay, so I think 2 cross 2 matrix is 2 cross 3 matrix is sufficient. So I'll just uh, open, close the square bracket, enter. So you'll get the matrix there that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'll create a second matrix B is equal to and I'll say uh, we'll create some random variables that is 7, 8 and 9 okay I'll convert a semicolon and then I'll give the next values uh, for the next second row that is 5, 6 and 7 okay I'll close the square bracket and hit enter okay even that matrix is created okay so what we'll do is we'll start with the addition of the matrix okay as I said so we'll say A plus B Okay, and see, we'll see what is the answer for A plus B. Okay, if you hit enter, so you'll get it as 8, 10, 12, and 9, 11, 13. Okay, 7 plus 1 will give you 8. Okay, and similarly, 8 plus 2. Okay, so that will give you 10. And 12 will be given by 3 plus 9. Okay, so similarly, each and every matrix, respective matrices will be, elements of a matrix will be added. Just like 9 is equal to 5 plus 4. Okay, so hope that is clear. So we'll try same thing with subtraction. So I'll say a minus b and hit enter. Okay, and uh, you will get the values as minus six, minus one because yeah, b is greater than a. Okay, if you change uh, b b minus a, then in that case you will get positive values. So the answer that you get is six, six, six and one, one, one. Okay, if you subtract and see, you will get the same answer: seven minus one or eight minus two. Okay. So next thing is we'll go to see the transpose of a matrix. Okay, so the function to create a transpose of a matrix we'll see and uh, we'll also print those transpose of a matrices. Okay. So I'll just print the value of A again. So that is what you have for A. Okay, so transpose of a matrix is given by just A transpose. Okay, the symbol is the transpose symbol or the in the single inverted quote. Okay. So transpose you can see the, all the rows will become columns and the columns will become rows okay that is about transpose and then we have the matrix uh, multiplication okay so matrix multiplication also we will cover it okay the condition for matrix multiplication multiplication is that uh, a matrix uh, number of rows of a matrix must be equal to the number of uh, columns of a second matrix okay so if i type it in the form of a sentence then uh, a of m cross 1 and b of n cross m okay so m is the number of rows in a and uh, m is the number of columns in b okay that should be same if it is 2 comma 3 then we should multiply it with 3 cross 2 okay so that is how we should do it do the matrix multiplication okay so it is same as what you do in your maths okay maths even in maths to multiply a matrix so you should have uh, the number of rows must be equal to number of columns and number of columns must be equal to number of rows okay we can always multiply square matrix without any problem okay so what we'll do is we'll try to multiply the two matrices okay so what we'll do is i will say a into b okay but uh, b is not uh, b and a are of same uh, number of rows and columns so that rule is not being satisfied that is why it is showing inconsistent matrix okay so if the matrix uh, is of same dimension just like what you see here 2 cross 3 then it won't be happening so what i'll do is i'll uh, try to do the operation in a different way okay yeah so the matrix size uh, doesn't agree to the rule okay then just like what i said now the matrix size doesn't agree to the rule so what we can do is we can do a into b transpose okay so now what will happen is b will be having uh, the transposed matrix of uh, the b okay so this is a b transpose and that is a a transpose here you can clearly see the uh, size of the matrix one is two cross three and another one is three cross two 
Okay, now if you go to see how the operation is being carried out, it is 1 into 7 plus 2 into 8 and 3 into 9. In similar way, it is doing just like what you do in maths. Okay, similar operation will be carried out. Okay, and uh, okay, so this is about matrix multiplication and transpose. Now, what we'll do is uh, we'll do it, we'll do this multiplication in a different way. Okay, now it was A into B transpose. Okay, now I'll try it is B transpose into A. Okay, B transpose into A. And uh, we'll see what the output is. Okay. See, now the output is completely different in the, between the two. Okay. This is because if you see the matrix rule, so it depends on how you multiply. Okay. So, yeah. So, if you multiply B transpose with A, then that means 7 is multiplied with 1 and then 5 is multiplied with 4. And then in the for the next column, similar operation is carried out. Okay, so we'll get three cross three matrix. Okay. So depending on the requirement, you can choose uh, what kind of operation you want to carry out, and be careful which you will be multiplying to which matrix because value will change. Okay. And next function that will be is size of A. Okay. So if you give size of any any matrix, so it will give you the number of rows and columns. Okay. Okay, so 2 and 3 means 2 cross 3 matrix. Okay, so if the answer is 2 cross 3, then that means 2 cross 3 matrix. Matrix. Okay. So coming back. Uh, okay. So if you are decoding what 2 cross 3 means, it is it consists 2 rows and 3 columns. Okay. So if you say like if you want to get the exact number of rows and columns into separate variables, you can just create an array of. Uh, two variables that is rows and columns and then say size of a and you will get row equal to two and uh, columns equal to three column equal to three okay then you can use the separate variables accordingly for your requirements okay or else you can directly assign the answer of one and then take the number of rows okay that's how you can take it okay so coming back to another function that is len gth length of a okay and it will give you number of entries or total number of uh, objects present inside a particular array okay or particular matrix okay so total number of entries present inside the matrix okay so in our case it is a now so in the future case it might be whichever matrix you specify if i say length of answer okay hit enter so answer is one because there is only one variable inside the answer okay that was we recently we have received at six value is one okay so that is how you will be able to find the length of a particular uh, uh, matrix okay so if you find the length of some other matrix so c okay and then you will get it as 6 okay that is a c is the 3 cross 2 matrix okay we'll check the size again okay so i'll say size of c and hit enter okay and you will get the size as 3 cross 2 okay and the number of entries will be 3 into 2 that is 6 okay that is why you are getting answer as 6 in the previous case okay now we'll do is we'll try to create some random uh, matrices of 3 comma 3 okay hit enter okay and what i'll do is i'll uh, check the size of this again just for practice and you will get it as 3 comma 3 okay and you can even check the length if it is required okay so i'll just increase the size to maybe 10 and 10 cross 10 i'll do okay and we'll run the code so that is the matrix that you get here okay so if you just check the size of answer again so it is showing you the exact size that is 10 cross 10 okay so you can even calculate the length if you want it will give you 10 into 10 that is 100 as the length of the matrix okay so we'll just print back the a previous character and uh, so what i'll do is i'll uh, try to do some operations that is uh, print particular number of rows okay only in one row from particular matrix and print okay so how to do that so i'll do is i'll say if you remember in the previous case we used to specify a of 1 comma 1 in similar way we'll try a of uh, 1 comma okay and i want all the columns okay so i'll just say specify semicolon and hit enter okay so now you can see that uh, what is created so only first row is being printed okay so what does this semicolon mean okay semicolon actually what it means is it will take all the entries present in that particular field okay so indicates that uh, 
whatever entries you have okay whatever entries you have you should consider all of them okay so if you i'll just uh, write you write down the basic syntax of uh, how, what accessing individual elements okay so if you want to access individual element of a then syntax is a of row comma column as i've written here okay so in the same way i'll remove that comment first okay and in the place of row i'll just type it as 2 okay and in the place of column i'll say take all the entries okay sorry first one i'll try third column okay and then i'll try to take all the entries of that column okay so now what i'll do is i'll remove that tree okay and uh, select all the entries okay now what you get is you will get the second row of this column okay so you can do that same thing for the no, rows also so if you select all the rows you will get uh, third whatever is in the third column you will get all the rows row entries okay all the entries of third column will be getting will be printed if you do that operation okay so like that you can even uh, print the whole matrix by putting two semicolons or you can directly type a and hit enter okay just uh, as i did now if you type a and two semicolons between comma then you'll get the whole matrix okay so all the entries of the matrix will be printed all the entries of a Okay. Now those were uh, some of the basic operations on MATLAB like multiplication, transpose, etc. So we'll go through some other operations similar to that. That is uh, finding determinant of a matrix, etc. So to find the determinant of a matrix, so we have a function that is uh, determinant of. Uh, so okay, we'll I'll just first write it what what, the, what we are doing. So determinant of a matrix we'll be finding. Okay, so the function is det and then we should specify the matrix inside the brackets. I'll specify the matrix. So yeah, the condition is it should be a square matrix. So what we'll do is initially we'll declare a square matrix. And then we'll uh, use the determinant operation. Okay, with a different name because a already exists. So I'll say e is equal to. Okay, and uh, the matrix I'll specify as the 1, 2, 3 semicolon and then uh, I'll give some other values to it that is 4, 5, 6 semicolon and then uh, 7, 8 and 9 okay so you can choose your own matrix for calculations okay now I'll try determinant of E and hit enter okay so now what we are getting is we are getting some uh, uh, numbers in a different format okay so because the matrix size is not uh, matrix numbers are not so suitable finding determinant okay so I'll create a simpler matrix so I'll say 1, 2, 2 okay and then 2 okay i'll change it to 1 and then uh, okay 2 1 2 okay so similarly i'll change the last uh, row also okay i'll say 1 uh, 2 and uh, then 2 okay now i'll hit enter and then run the determinant and now we'll get the determinant as 0 okay so oh yeah i'll will change the matrix again a bit okay i'll go to the first row and i'll change uh, to 1 okay 1 2 1 Okay, now if you find the determinant, you will get it as minus 3. Okay. Similarly, you can find the determinant for any matrix, provided it is a square matrix. Okay, that is the restriction that you have to find the determinant. That is, it should be a square matrix. And then what we come across is eigenvectors. Okay, so to find the eigenvectors of a matrix, so there is a command called SPEC. Okay. So SPEC of, uh, I'll say E and hit enter. And uh, that is the eigenvector that you get minus 1.23 and the 0.51 and 4.171 okay so we'll go to the next operation that is to find the power of a matrix so i'll print a again okay and uh, what i'll do is i'll just say a to the power of 2 okay and hit enter okay uh, sorry yeah we need a square matrix for this operation so what we'll do is we'll uh, use e e matrix instead okay so e matrix is a square matrix so e into 2 okay and then you'll get the power as this okay the matrix won't be directly multiplied individual elements won't be multiplied instead it will be doing a into a okay e into e that is the operation that will be doing okay so if you go to see e one square is not six but instead it is uh, multiplying e with the e itself okay that's why you are getting that answer so if you said do e into e also you will get the same answer okay so e square will do e square is nothing but it will be multiplying e with itself okay so we'll try some other operations in the power okay 
so i'll say e square okay or e to the power 3 okay in that case the matrix matrix will be multiplied three times okay e cube okay it will be multiplied e into e into e okay so that is about multi matrix operation and uh, so we'll catch you in the next session okay i'll clear the variable and uh, clear the screen Thank you.